Yeah, if you have your gaming setup for a while now, there's no doubt it's as dirty as mine. Actually, in this video, I'm gonna be deep cleaning this PC and show you the right ways and tips along the way. So without further ado, let's get started. To get this started, we need a powerful air duster, alcohol for cleaning, towel paper, and one of these thermal paste. I'm using the MX-5, you can find its link down below in the description. First, let's begin by blowing the dust from these filters. This is by far one of the most satisfying moments of this process next we're gonna do the same for our case now these air dusters are perfect for cleaning those areas that are almost unreachable next i'm gonna dismantle the gpu by using this screwdriver set it's linked down below simply unplug the cables attached to your gpu push its trigger and gently take it out look at this beauty man you're gonna want to use the air duster again to just make sure you got all the dust out then get your towel paper not a toilet paper a towel paper put some alcohol on it maybe a little bit more and clean everywhere you can reach inside your PC except this area on your GPU other than this clean every inch of your case up to now look how dirty it was so make sure you are cleaning all of the fans very well because that is the place where most of the dust can be found and lastly we're gonna be cleaning our CPU for this part first we need to take out the AIO simply unscrew it then unplug it and gently take it out and this is what it looks like after two years of working with the cpu cooler it looks pretty bad and now get your towel paper make sure it's wet with alcohol and simply wipe off every thermal paste you see on the surface after you're done put it on the side and do the same for your cpu again we don't want to put any thermal paste on the surface so make sure you're cleaning the edges as well and now let's apply our classic pea-sized thermal paste on the CPU. You don't want it too much and you don't want it too little. Like this. Now gently place your AIO back on your CPU, keep it pressed for about 5 seconds, then put back the bolts and tighten them up. And don't forget to plug back in your AIO into your motherboard. And that's pretty much it. If you followed all of the steps as I showed you, you'll be just fine. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you learned something along the way. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, I'm uploading every weekend, so subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.